so the Wrath of the Waste set is definitely the best set for the Barb. And this is the first set you'll obtain in Season 23. It's part of Hodrick's Gifts. It's part of your seasonal journey. You'll get six pieces really easy. It's the best for speed farming. And it's also the best for Greater Rift pushing. So the Barbarian, no doubt, will be quite popular uh, in Season 23. And I'm going to show you the GR pushing build right now. Look how awesome I made this Barbarian look. Looking a bit green, yeah? But I think he looks absolutely sensational. And if you haven't got your wings there, check out my set dungeon guides. You can get those wings yourself. And you can look this awesome as well in no time. So the GR pushing build, let's see what it involves here. It, re it, involves, it involves Wrath of the Wastes five pieces. We're using the helm, the chest, the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots here, which I was lucky enough to get some primals. Uh, we're using Captain Crimson's pants and belt. I've got the Flavor of Time amulet, Mortix braces, Mortix brace, Convention of Elements, and Band of Might here for some survivability and damage reduction. For the weapons, I'm using Slanderer and Rogue. Now, you got the Bull Cathos weapons as an option just to keep up your wrath a lot easier. But definitely if you're pushing greater rifts, we want to go Slanderer and Rogue. I use Bull Cathos for uh, Nephilim Rift farming and farming uh, keystones for GRs. But Slanderer and Rogue are definitely ideal for that uh, increased damage and increased armor that you get. Uh, the effects do stack up to 10 times. So you gain 6% attack speed. Damage and armor for five seconds and they stack up to five times so multiply those percentages six percent times five And that's what you get with extra attack speed extra damage and extra armor So definitely ideal for GR pushing but a lot of people find them a little bit uncomfortable because you run out of your fury a lot easier But you can keep it up and I'll show you how by using ground stomp and your shout and whirlwinding killing shit, you'll be fine. You should be fine anyway. The gems that we're using, diamond for the helm, rubies for the chest and the pants, the legendary gems, Bane of the Trapped, uh, Taeguk and Bane of the Stricken. The Can Ice Cube, have, let's have a look. We got Ambo's Pride, Lamentation, Ring of Royal Grandeur because we only have five pieces of Wraths and two pieces of Captain Crimson's. That's why we get the full three piece set bonus and that's why we get the full six piece set bonus. So if you're going with this, then definitely need the Ring of Royal Grandeur either equipped or in Can Ice Cube. This is season 22, so right now, we're using the Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Definitely going to help with keeping up the Wrath of the Berserker. Uh, but in Season 23, we won't have the fourth Canize Cube slot. So we're going to have to make some changes and probably whack this either into our uh, armor slot, into our ring slot, or hopefully it emanates. Which brings me to my next point. Even the flavor of time is going to go. This will change a lot because... In Season 23, when you open up your follower, we're going to get the follower changes. And that way, you'll be able to equip 13 items on your follower as well as your token or relic there for, for follower cannot die. And the items will emanate. I'm pretty sure that Flavor of Time definitely does emanate. I don't know whether Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac does. I don't think it does, but it won't matter anyway. We can equip that and other items like Flavor of Time we can equip on our follower. It'll emanate and that way we can benefit from the effects as well. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to change a little bit, but this will give you a rough idea of how to use the build anyway. I'll do a fresh guide once the season starts and I'll show you the changes also. But right now, PTR is over. This is the only way that I can go through this awesome high level GR smashing build for Wrath of the Wastes Barbarian. Now, the skills that we're using, Ancient Spear with Rage Flip. This basically, sometimes if you're trying to clear a high GR and you're doing you're killing an elite that has multiple like uh, versions of itself so let's say it's a it's a blue elite and there's three versions of the, the spear spearmen they might um, or, or if they're their archers or something like that they will separate annoyingly and one of them will be there one of them will be there and as you're damaging two of them one of them will be uh, separated with rage flip we can use our chains to pull that enemy in and that way we zerg them all down and not waste time uh, whirlwind with wind shear 
Ground Stomp with Wrenching Smash, War Pry with Impunity, Wrath of the Berserker with Insanity, and Rend with Bloodbath. I have seen some people use different um, runes here, but I like to go with Bloodbath. For the passives, Brawler, Rampage, Berserker Rage, and Ruthless. Yes, I can eat cereal without chewing. I'm on another evolutionary level. Now, what else do we need? So I've gone through Kano's Cube. Uh, Paragon points, obviously if you're maxed out, all of these will be maxed out. If not, I'll let you know what to prioritize right now. So with your core, movement speed, we want to be maxed out at 25%, which means whatever's in your armor, just add the remaining 25% here. So for instance, I've got 11% on my boots. 14 in, in movement speed in core will bring me up to 25. That's the max that we can do with armor and paragon points. So just want to make sure you're up to 25%. Everything else dump into strength. With your offense, I would probably go cooldown reduction first and then split the points evenly between crit and crit, critical hit chance and critical hit damage, then attack speed. With defense, resist all armor life and then life regen in that order but like i said if you're maxed out like i am then just whack them in fill them all up with your utility area damage resource cost reduction life per hit and then gold find pickup radius gold pickup radius not gold find gold pickup radius you're watching a guide being made yes you are you had no idea i was such a scholar of this game well now you've just found out so having said that let's complete Close this one up and I'll show you all an example right here, right now of this GR pushing build. Let's do it. Uh, let's go for a uh, hundred. All right, let's go 007 of darkness. Quite the adversary. So here we go. Like see that spear, it just knocks enemies, pulls enemies in behind you and definitely great when enemies are trying to get away from you. At really high GRs, where elites take a while to zerg down. If one tries to run away, you can just pull him in, like that, with your Ancient Spear. And it's also great when you get these Oculus Ring Circles, you can stay here spinning around and pull enemies in. As you see fit. Uh, what's this? Shield Pylon, nice. It'll keep us alive. So it's basically used for grouping up enemies, like this. Pull them in, pull them in, and kill them. I find it most handy for pulling in elites, those pesky elites that try and run away. It's particularly annoying if you have to be in melee range when that happens, but as you can see, we can pull enemies in here with our spear, and it's fun. It's super fun pulling in enemies. See, like there's an elite there. Sometimes the elites, some of them are immune. Unfortunately, it happens. And also, sometimes like if you're doing super, super high GRs, you can just pull enemies in in general, like stand in the circle here, pull them in. And try and get your uh, density up. Right now we're pretty comfortable, so it's, we can just pretty much pull enemies in for pure fun. It's a nice skill anyway. Just pull them in. So you can focus on sort of world winning in one area and just pulling enemies in as you go. Alright, this should be a good level. I like this one. Finally got some good maps happening. Alright, let's go. 
Sometimes there's a pile on there, so always check that uh, little nook. Pull them in! <laughs> I love it. So this season I've played uh, mostly support, but next season I'm definitely going to be playing this Wrath of the Waste set, both for GR pushing and for uh, speed farming. Be sure to check out the speed farming version of this as well, which will be up on the channel. And it's great because this season the Barbarian has the best of both worlds. You've got the best way to speed farm, and you've got the best GR pushing build and set. So Barbs, it's a good time to be a Barbarian. Good time to be a Barbarian. Oh, not this dude again. So we've got to watch out for that... Uh, He's poison there, but that's alright. We're too powerful for him. That is how it's done. Oh, excuse you. So pick up the loot. Don't forget to upgrade your gems. And do what you gotta do. Hope this was helpful. And I'll see you all in Season 23. April 2nd, baby. Let's do it!